welcome back. It's Friday Favorites and Flaps and happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> I don't know. There's like some people that like really hate Valentine's Day and then there are some people that really love Valentine's Day. Which one are you? <laughs> I think it's like you hate it if you have an A, unromantic partner or B, you don't have a partner. Or the fact that it's like a totally fabricated holiday, which is probably the main reason. Um, my husband and I typically like don't do anything exciting like at all. Like we just don't do anything. We, we'll order like a, for, for years, honestly, like my thing that I liked, I was just like, don't get me anything. Like don't get me anything. Just let's order a heart shaped pizza from Papa John's and like that's all we're gonna do. Well this year he planned some like mysterious surprise trip. So we're flying somewhere. Um, and he got like it all set up for his parents to watch the kids and all that. So I have no idea where we're going. It's this huge surprise. So we will see. I'm sure I will be Instagramming and all that. So I'm just going to get into my Friday favorites this week and show you all the products that I have been loving. The first thing up, I've had this for a while, and it is the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I love this. I've used almost all of it. Like, I just have a little bit left, and I'm so sad. This isn't, I have the color light because I'm super fair. I love this stuff. Now, I'm going to leave below a full review that I've done and like a demo that I've done on this. It's a color correcting cream, so it has different pigments in it that correct in discoloration on your face. This, the thing I love about it is that it's it has like an anti-aging serum in it and it's also full coverage. So it's called Your Skin But Better CC Cream. So now you can find it at Ulta because Ulta has started to carry it cosmetics products so you can find this at Ulta but it is the best like BBCC type cream that I have found. The, the coverage on this it has SPF 50 in it. The coverage on this is just amazing. So I've been using a combo of this and then the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness under my foundation which I did film a foundation routine or like just like a demo on this combination but mainly the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness cream. Um, so I filmed the combination, but this can be worn on its own and it can be worn, you know, in place of a foundation. I find it gives the best coverage, very natural looking. It doesn't like settle in lines or anything like that. And it has things that are great for your skin in it. So really love the It Cosmetics CC cream if you're looking for a great cream that has all the benefits and then also some coverage, this is a good one to pick up. Okay, my husband has really dry hands. Like, we get really crusty, apparently, in the winter around here. And um, he has, like, really, really dry hands, so we're always trying to find something for his hands. And then I, I always rub lotion on his hands just because I think it's a nice thing to do. Um, don't ask me to do it to someone's feet. Because I won't. Like, I'm not going to touch your feet. But I will touch his hands. But, um... I have really, really dry legs and arms. Like, now my face is not particularly super duper dry, but I have really dry legs and arms and I get really itchy. So, a very good moisturizer or some type of cream is, like, essential. So, since he had, like, super dry hands, I started to rub this particular product on him and me. And seriously, it made me want to bust out like I was Ariel. I'm just kidding, but I really wanted to do that because this is the best. Like, it makes me want to bust out in song. Oh, you have to get it. Like, I can't even tell you. You... I can't even tell you. It feels like you're dipping your hands in butter. Let me just tell you what it is. I'm sorry. I'm so like... Huh? Okay, it's Shea Terra Organics is the brand, and it's called Shea Butter Smooth E, -E like smoothie, and it's banana and boabs. I don't know how to say that. Okay, body butter for dry skin, rashes, burns, and more. 94% certified organic, and it's like 100% natural. Okay, so this, why I was like reading the back, and I'm like, why is this stuff so amazing? Like, why does it feel like you dipped your hand in butter and it just like melts in your hand? It's, it says that it has like a higher concentration of shea butter, 
And when you're putting shea butter on to actually do something to your skin, you need a really higher concentration. And a lot of most shea butters just don't have that high concentration, but this is 94%. This stuff is amazing. It smells like bananas. Okay, you like there's barely a dent in it because you literally just need a little bit. I don't even want to waste it. It's honestly, it's like you dip you're dipping your hand in in like a thing of a tub of butter I don't know if you can see this but can you see how it's like melting on my finger so it's like it melts onto your skin almost as if it's like uh an oil do you see that oh sweet baby moses it is i can't even and it seriously, it smells like a really, it smells like a banana Laffy Taffy, but not like a really fake smell. Like it's a nice, like banana-y smell. And it kind of disappears after a while. Like you're not really smelling like straight up bananas. But it's, it's thick, but it's still light. But it's like, ugh. If you have dry skin, if you have rashes, if you're having issues... Like, get yourself some of this. It's really inexpensive. You can find it on Shea Terra Organics website. I will link it below. This stuff is, like, seriously where it's at. Like, I can't even take it. I can't even take it. It's just one of the best lotions that I have tried that, like, really soaks in. So we were laughing because I'm, like, rubbing it on my husband's hands. And his hands are, like, soaking it up. And I'm like, he's like, you're going to need to use more of that. And I'm like, uh, I don't think so. This stuff is gold now. This stuff is, like, gold in a basket and you need to get it. You need to get it. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, I'm done. Okay, I have two products before my flop, and they're lip products. And unfortunately, it's not what's on my lips. So what I'm wearing on my lips right now is Ace. Uh, it's the, color, the high wattage lipstick from Flirt Cosmetics that you find at Kohl's. The high wattage formula is amazing. I think they're manufactured under MAC. So they have really great color pigmentation and lipsticks um, from Flirt Cosmetics at Kohl's. So... Uh, this is the color Ace. I love it. It's like a, it's like a, this sweater I'm wearing is from Target. It's like a, almost like a little bit of a pinky red and that's what this is. So I love this color, but these two have been my favorite. I Instagrammed a picture of this. This is the Maybelline color elixir and it's in the color Petal Plush. Now I had reviewed a bunch of the Maybelline elixirs and I found them really expensive when they first came out and I was like for the price I just was like me so a bunch of people had been talking about this color which I'm kind of annoyed because I meant to pick up this color at first and I just I didn't and so a ton of people were like oh petal plush oh petal plush and I'm like oh I don't know do I want it so I found them for cheaper plus then um, our grocery store in Texas HEB had a coupon so I'm like okay I'm getting it now so this is a gorgeous pink color it has a little bit of it has a doe foot applicator I'll leave the review of the other the others down below. This is like, it feels like a balm um, on your lips. It's a very interesting formula. It's a really neutral, light pink color with, it has a little bit of like sheen in it, but you can't even tell like on this the lips. It's like a pinky nude, like cream gloss, but the shine is amazing. Like this looks to me when I wear it on my lips, like it looks, it makes your lips look super juicy and full and amazing and like really plump. I've been wearing this non-stop. Like I've been wearing it with Max Pink Plaid and then I'll put this on top of it or just any like Max Cream Club and this on top or Maybelline's Make Me Pink and this on top. Like all of those are awesome combinations. I think this is one of those staple glosses that a lot of people would really like and um it has a very interesting, almost like perfume, like perfume florally smell. So if that kind of bothers you, that might bother you about it. But I don't find that it super lingers on the lips. But really comfortable to wear and it feels great on the lips. So this is a great gloss. I've been loving this color. The next thing that I had been hearing a ton about too, and I'm like, what? 
I have that. I haven't ever tried it yet. I got this when I was um, at iMats and from Whitening Lightning and it's their nude gloss. So I had gotten this gloss from Whitening Lightning when I was at LA iMats and I hadn't tried it yet but everyone's like oh the nude gloss, oh the nude gloss and I'm like oh man maybe I should dig that sucker out because apparently it's amazing. <laughs> so I dug it out and it's amazing. It has a little light which I always appreciate having like a little light in it so when you open it up it has a little light and then it has a mirror. Anyway, it's the color, the color and like the consistency. So this is a really beautiful peachy nude gloss. Now I just did uh, the perfect nude tag. I did that last week. Should be up soon. I the per like my favorite nude lip combination and one of my favorite things is, I'll give you a sneak peek, is Max Pure Zen and this gloss on top is so beautiful. So this, it's like a beautiful like peachy neutral and oh, I love it. So you can see that this one's really pink, this one's really peach. It has a pretty opaque formula and it doesn't really smell like anything but it doesn't, I mean it doesn't smell bad, it just doesn't have a, a real smell. But this is a perfect peachy nude and the perfect pink nude. So I've been going between these two all week. I do always have like a coupon for whitening lightning products. Like I use their brow bar to go. Coupon for all their teeth whitening products. That's what I use to whiten my teeth. If I have a lip gloss coupon code I will leave it down below. I do think they have some type of deal where you can get like three glosses uh, for a really good price. So if I know it I'll leave that down below so that you guys can, um, if you're interested in picking up this gloss. I do believe they have other colors. I have a pink one. I should have brought that to swatch, but it's a really gorgeous color as well. So the nude gloss from Whitening Lightning is amazing. I love the formula. I love the consistency and I love the color. Like it's so pretty. It reminds me of the color of NARS Chelsea Girls. Like that's how amazing this color is, which I think is one of the most perfect nude colors ever. So beautiful peachy nude. So anyways, these two glosses have definitely been favorites of mine for this week. On to my flop. So I think I realized that I left my flop out last week because I, when I was editing the video was too long. Sorry. It was the Hourglass Powder in Dim. I didn't really like it and I kept trying to like it. So that was last week's flop. A lot of people were like, I think I missed your flop. And I'm like, no, I think I edited it out. So, but this week's flop was like a serious, like I don't like this product at all and I think you should skip it type thing. And it is the NYX Dark Circle Concealers. I don't like these. I got these in my swag bag. They're in the color Fair and Light. And I just, I don't like them. They're too thin of a consistency. They have like coconut oil or something in them. They're too thin of a consistency. They like don't cover very well. They correct a little bit, but then it's like they crease even when you set them. I can't I mean, it's showing it is. Not, I have a video of some of the NYX products in the Invincible Foundation, and I use these, so that should be coming up. But you can see how I used it. Like, did not cover a dark circle, and then it creased, and then it kind of just like because it has coconut oil in it. I don't know if it makes it like too oily or too thin of a consistency that it just does not set. So I just I don't think they're worth the money for me. They did not work. I do know some friends that really like these. So it's just all a matter of opinion. If these work for you, then that's great. So I just, I don't like them and for me they're not worth the money. If you want a great concealer from NYX, get the HD Photogenic Concealer in the wand. That thing is amazing. So skip these, go for that, and you're going to get more coverage. And even have the correctors in the HD concealer. So if you're looking for color correcting, don't get these. They have dark circle color correctors in the, in the HD formula and I prefer that formula so much more. It has way better coverage and staying power in my opinion. Alright everybody, that's it for my Friday favorites and flops. I hope you all had a wonderful week. But, um, thank you guys so much for always watching my videos, saying such sweet things in the comments below. I love all your comments. Leave below your favorites of the week. You guys know that I love that. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Stay a while. I'd love to have you and hope you all have a great week. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Mwah.